bragging. Oprah just thrown under the bus. They flipped on her. Oprah Winfrey's presidential dreams are turning into a nightmare as all of her secrets start to come out and now those who supported her are even turning on her. While every liberal in Hollywood and beyond seem to collectively lose their minds with excitement over the idea of putting the 63-year-old talk show host in office, now they are starting to see a really big problem. She started the week looking like a hero and now is ending it under the bus with what one of her fellow stars just said and flipped her Golden Globes script on her. Things have gone from bad to worse for Oprah after a natural disaster struck her multi-million dollar home right after making what liberals felt was an announcement that she would run for president in her awards acceptance speech. President Trump even responded to the idea of her running against him in 2020, saying he'd gladly face her in that race. It was a comment that had to be humiliating since it was a sly way of saying he doesn't consider her a threat to him winning. Now, the female empowering comments she made in her speech which was the reason for everyone calling her Madam President, have just come back to haunt her when one of her own called her out on it in a major way. The Daily Mail reports. Seal has lashed out at Oprah Winfrey following her inspirational Golden Globes speech claiming she knew about the rumors surrounding Harvey Weinstein but did nothing. The talk show Queen's widely applauded speech on Sunday night focused on the plight of sexually abused women and the Me Too movement. But the kiss from a rose singer accused the media maven of being an example of sanctimonious Hollywood. He took to Instagram Wednesday, sharing a shot of Oprah with a disgraced producer at two events with a meme that read, when you have been part of the problem for decades. But suddenly they all think you are the solution. The 54-year-old singer took it one step further, captioning the meme that Oprah knew about the various sexual misconduct allegations against Weinstein, writing you'd heard the rumors but you had no idea he was actually serially assaulting young starry-eyed actresses who in turn had no idea what they were getting into. My bad. For an added point he hashtagged the post with hash sanctimonious Hollywood. It is unclear if Seal could say with certainty that Oprah was aware of the varied claims against Weinstein that erupted into the public discourse in 2017 following bombshell reports that sent the producer fleeing Hollywood for a sex rehab in Arizona. It was clear that Oprah's speech had undertones of trying to slam Trump as a pervert as no fan of the president when Oprah herself has been a pimp for Weinstein and has no place to talk. British actress Cadian Noble said last month that she was head over heels impressed when she first met the pervert Harvey Weinstein at an event in London because he was hanging out with supermodel Campbell and had the mega media star Oprah swinging off his arm. Your Newswire reports. After meeting Weinstein for the first time in London, Noble brought along her show reel to his hotel room when she met up with him again in Cannes in February 2014. During their second meeting, Noble alleges Weinstein used promises of career advancement to lure Noble to his hotel room, where he forced himself on her. Instead of watching Noble's reel, Weinstein allegedly began to touch her whilst discussing getting her connected with a modeling agency in London. The indecency ended in the bathroom where Weinstein allegedly made Noble perform sex acts in front of the mirror. Noble blames Weinstein for destroying her acting dreams and notes that he failed to help with her career as he had promised. Noble thought, obviously, this man has something amazing in store for me, she said during a teary-eyed press conference in Manhattan to discuss the sex trafficking lawsuit she filed a day earlier against Weinstein in Manhattan Federal Court. Instead, Weinstein used promises of career advancement, fortune and fame to lure the actress to his hotel room in Cannes, France where he forced himself on her. She said. I felt completely played, she said. Reports are pointing to the terrifying fact that Oprah and Campbell both told her Weinstein could jumpstart her career, although all us common folk now know that this man's predatory behavior was the best-kept secret in Hollywood for decades. If true then what Oprah did was pimp out this poor woman to Weinstein. She is as sick as Weinstein, if not worse since she claims to have been the victim of sexual abuse herself as a child, a child.